Hello friends, in this video tutorial series, we will learn how we can change master page value dynamically using the content page. For that, I have created the first master page named masterpage.master. I have used a 3D reason tag here and its CSS here. Now, I will execute this. I will take one content page named default.aspx. Now, I will execute this page. You can see this type of output. This is the center, uh, center, uh, center tag and this one is header and one footer. Now I want to change the color of uh, center. For that what I have to do. I have created one another master page for it named masterpage2.master. In masterpage2.master I have changed the CSS of center portion as white. Clear? Now uh, I have to do a code. When in default, uh, default when the default page will execute. Instead of master page dot master, I want to execute master page two dot master. For that, I have to add one method in it. Now, I will add this method here. I have to use page pre uh, page pre initialization method for that. In that, I have used this code. This dot master page file is equal to in double inverted comma master page two dot master. This means that instead of executing master page dot master file it will execute master page 2 dot master file by this way you can change the master page value dynamically now i will execute uh, this program again you can see here the center portion color has been changed so friends by this way you can change the master page value dynamically clear uh, if you have any doubt, you can mail me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching my video. If you really like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.